So hello comrades and welcome back to another Subnautica's news and updates video. So today we are going to go back to the Precursor Prism because there has been a lot of updates. We are going to check out two awesome videos released by the Subnautica developers and at the end I'm going to show you something really really awesome. So let's go and check out what kind of new things Subnautica has. So first of all, I have to say a huge thank you for the comrades who are in our Discord server because you are the reason I am talking about this small update. Now, we are in the safe shallows at night because I am searching for a quartz crystal. I think I found it. Yes, there is one because the quartz crystal graphics were changed and now it looks like this. Now, I have to say... Subnautica developers, you have done it again. Thank you for polishing the game. We are back in the lava zone in the Precursor Prison and we are heading inside because this facility had a lot of new updates. Now, first of all, as you have already can see, we have a alien robots right in front of us. So now the Precursor Prison was inhabited by these small cute little drones robots or whatever you can actually call them they look really awesome they are hostile right now we are in the creative mode so they are they can attack us but we are not going to take damage and now the illumination comrades this is really awesome as you have already seen when we first enter the precursor prison right here through those doors the illumination just boom appears the green light it is awesome looking anti-chamber entrance let's go forward and let's be amazed by the second awesome update now yesterday one of the game developers of subnautica released this video about the precursor anti-chamber and about this particular thing the pillar in on top of the ceiling Apparently it is producing the iron crystals which can be drilled with the prawn suit driller arm. Now personally I love this part of the video where the green beam from the ceiling shoots down and creates the iron crystal crystals. It reminds me of a Death Star shot when it shot down the Alderaan. It looks actually really amazing and awesome. So apparently this update is already in the game and if we approach to this pillar it is slowly getting down for us to grab the iron crystal. So now let's spawn the prawn suit and let's try and drill the iron crystals. Alright so right now I have a prawn suit with two driller arms. So let's approach this pillar wait for it to go down and let's start drilling the iron crystal chunk to get those into small pieces so we can actually pick it up and then let's see will the green laser shoot down another iron crystal big pile of chunk that would be actually really amazing now okay i believe we have destroyed it oh <gasps> yes whoa this is amazing so this is how the iron crystals are being produced as you can see it is slowly coming apart wow this is an amazing sight, comrades. Wow. I love this one. So I'm so glad that this is already in the game. Boom. So this is how they create the iron crystals. Can we actually destroy again? And uh, I don't know. Uh, is this like... Uh, can we actually produce like infinite amount of... I, I believe it's not going to happen because already there are a lot of iron crystals scattered across the subnautica so i can i won't believe that it is actually it is, is going to be infinite now yeah it's apparently it is actually making another one so yeah <laughs> uh, i i i am positive that the game developers will actually think of something that we won't be able to uh, make them over and over and over again because well we don't need that many right right now there are a lot of small iron crystals that can be actually picked up can we take this one uh okay it's a little bit hard to do that right now 
I guess there needs to be some changes done. Yes, we can pick everything up. So yeah, this is how the iron crystals will be made in the precursor antechamber. So I have just teleported to the precursor prison moon pool room and uh, apparently this room also had a lot of improvements regarding the lighting, regarding the water. As you can see, we cannot see what is down there. We can see the platform, but that's it. And what I really like, as you can see, there are waves uh, in the moon pool and these waves are actually being produced, if I can say it like that by the sea emperor so now we are in the precursor prison where the sea emperor is living i want to show you one more thing in the previous subnautica news and updates video i have talked about the egg platform and apparently it is now done as you can see there are sand uh, the sand is covering uh, the platform also the teleporter is being covered with sand too and that sand should be blown away when the sea emperor should glide through this place and i believe we can actually try and uh, blow away the sand so now let's trigger the animation for the uh, sea emperor to swim here to do that we need to go here and let's call the baby sea emperors and now they should hatch and I believe they are not done yet uh, they are not fully done and now the sea emperor is gliding through the teleporter and it should blow away the sand no okay let's let's see wait a second did I trigger the animation let's try again I don't think so okay let's now it should be done and the see as you can see he is looking at us what are we doing here don't worry we are not going to hurt your small babies yes they are hatching right now yes and they are not done so wait a second are you not going to blow away the sand okay so uh Apparently this animation is not done here yet and uh, the sea emperor is not blowing the sand away from the teleporter. No worries, that is cool. Oh, he's swimming again. Now maybe he, we can actually witness the sand blowing animation. Please sea emperor be a good boy and blow away the sand so we can actually use that teleporter. Use the tentacle and... Okay... Okay, so don't worry, it is not done. Uh, it still looks cool, the animation when the sea emperor is gliding here. And I believe the this animation where he blows away the sand will be implemented really, really soon. So I have spawned a ghost leviathan into the precursor prison because he had his sounds improved, the roaring sounds. But I believe these sounds are not yet implemented into Subnautica. Before we end this episode, I want to share a video uploaded by one of the game developers of Subnautica. Uh, a video about the grass dynamics and animations. As you can see right now on the screen, they look really awesome. I believe there was a lot of work done for the grass to move like that because it looks really realistic. And you have to keep in mind that this is a game and it looks awesome. So comrades, before we end this video, I wanted to share one awesome video, Subnautica soundtrack piano cover. So I'm going to leave the video in the description, in this video link description, and go and check out how Subnautica sounds when it is played by the piano. It looks, it, it sounds amazing. So comrades, I believe we are going to end this episode right here and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new about Subnautica today and you are always welcome to join our Discord server if you want to chat with me or send a screenshot or whatever. 
I am always open for any suggestions and uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the Discord server link in the description. And as always, I will see you all tomorrow in the next episode. Bye!